the four killers of Americans are what? We've got heart disease, cancer, diabetes, and dementia, Alzheimer's. So those are the big four that we're really trying to avoid. And what if there was something pretty darn simple that you could do that would really reduce your risk? Yes, we have it, and uh, the studies, two studies I want to review with you today, and one looked at the blue zones. If you've never heard of the blue zones, these are areas of the planet where people regularly live over 100 years old. So these are centenarians, and so the blue zones are very attractive areas for those who are interested in longevity to see patterns, and they have definitely seen a lot of patterns uh, across the world in these pockets where people regularly live to over 100. So uh, the first study was done by GeroScience, so uh, science of, of getting over older gerontology. And the name of it was the multifaceted benefits of walking, so I gave it away, walking for healthy aging. And so they had looked at the blue zones. And this just came out a couple of months ago, July uh, this year, 2023. And so that they found was that walking decreased your risk of all those diseases we're trying to avoid. So heart disease, stroke, um, cancer, diabetes, and cognitive decline. And so also while improving mental well-being and better sleep and of course longevity. So these were the benefits. And so then you go, okay, walking, how much, you know, what do I need to do? Uh, if you look at where these blue zones are located, uh, these are people who have to walk long distances to see friends or family. Uh, sometimes the terrain is a, is a bit rugged or at least hilly. Uh, some of these individuals are farmers and, and they're, they're goat herding or sheep herding and they're walking you know, a lot during the day just because it's their job and others just to stay active and, and that's, how, that's how they get around. Uh, if you've ever been to Venice, <laughs> beautiful city, uh, but you do a lot of walking in that city be, unless you're you're taking the the water the water taxis. But um, sometimes when we travel, we do so much more walking and we come back and feel better, uh, not just because we were on vacation, but also because we were getting more exercise. But another study also uh, just this year from the Journal of the American College of Cardiology they gave more specifics to this walking and how much you actually need to do. So they came up with 8,800 steps precisely. So you've heard of the walking 10,000 steps. So this is 8,800. That translates into 4.1, almost 4.2 miles, whereas the 10,000 steps is four and a half miles. So you, get a, you don't have to go quite as far and still get the benefits. So they said that achieving this 8,800 steps um, cut mortality risk of all causes by, by over 50%. So very exciting to cut your risk of dying from all causes uh, by, by 50%. And they, for that study, they reviewed uh, 12 different studies that had over 111,000 participants to come up with this 8,800. And one other little tidbit for you is that you want to be walking rapidly. So the faster you walk, you get more benefits. And if 8,800 steps is way too much for you to think about doing, then what they said was that every, to think with the fact that every 500 steps that you add per day is going to make a nice impact. So I hope you found that beneficial. And um, if you enjoyed this information, please give the channel a thumbs up and subscribe.